Imagine having an AI tool at your fingertips that's not just smart, but actually helpful across a ton of tasks. From brainstorming ideas to coding, generating images, and even creating music. Sounds good, right? Well, that's exactly what we're diving into today. Hi, I'm Daniel. Welcome to my channel where I make smart tutorials. In this video, we're talking about Gemini, Google's cutting-edge AI neural network. Whether you're into creativity, productivity, or just exploring cool tech, Gemini promises a little something for everyone. And don't worry if you're new to tools like this, I will break everything down in a way that's super simple and easy to follow. We'll start by exploring Gemini itself, including its premium version, which gives you a free trial month to test out all the features. Then we'll check out some of its core modules, like Brainstormer, Career Guide and Coding Partner, to see what they bring to the table. And of course, we'll also touch on the fun stuff like image generation and the ability to create music. Also, I've left all the useful links in the description down below, so don't forget to check them out. So let's jump in and see what this AI powerhouse is all about. Gemini Tutorial Today, we are exploring Gemini, Google's AI neural network, which, according to its stated features, offers impressive capabilities. We'll explore Gemini itself as well as several trial modules built on this platform. Also developed by Google, let's start with Gemini and explore its premium version, which offers one month of free use. That's why we'll use Gemini Advanced to check out all its features. This will be the 1.5 Pro model. The free version offers the 1.5 Flash model. The premium version also provides more tokens, higher priority, increased storage, and additional resources. Plus, you can use it directly in Gmail, Google Docs, and more. That's why we'll be focusing on this version. So Gemini is free for the first month, and then you'll have to pay $19.99, then $19.99 after that. That's the standard price for AI tools like this. ChatGPT Plus also costs $20, and so does Claude Sonnet Pro. In general, the pricing is very similar. Obviously, you can't get the monthly subscription just like that. You'll need to enter credit card details, so let's do that now. Or you can use other payment options. Enter your details to complete the subscription process. Now, we're subscribed and have access to the advanced version of Gemini. Let's give it a try. Now, let's see if we can use it to its full potential. We can choose from two models. Since we have a premium subscription, we can select Gemini Advanced. Here we can view all chats, and there are several modules available – Brainstormer, Career Guide, and Coding Partner. These are the modules offered by Gemini itself. There are also trial versions of Learning Coach and Writing Editor you can test out. You can create projects and use the project model you've created. There's a help feature and activity logs that track your activity history on Gemini. You can turn this feature off and choose not to track your activity with or without deleting chats. We won't be doing that. There is also a settings menu with saved links, extensions and theme switching. There are various extensions you can turn on or off, like Google Workspace, Google Flights, Google Hotels, Google Maps, YouTube, YouTube Music, and OpenStax. This allows you to search maps, hotels, flights, as well as videos and music. Also, you can use Google Workspace to its full potential. Gemini will have access to your email, calendar, and Google Drive files. This means it can view them and offer assistance with various tasks. Let's try to create a new chat. One of the features Gemini offers is image generation. So let's type in a prompt and see how it handles it. In this case, we'll be using Imagine 3 
and it's the same model available in ImageFX, which we'll also take a look at. Here, Gemini gives us a hint that the image can be changed. You can download it here. You can also improve the prompt with more specific details and tell it how you'd like to adjust the image so it can make those corrections. For example, let's ask it to replace the car in the image with a retro car and wait for the AI to generate it. And there you go. Gemini has created this retro car for us and even changed the landscape a bit. You can continue experimenting with prompts and adjusting the image until you get what you want. You can also share the results and let Gemini know if the response is good or bad. This is how image generation works. Let's create a new chat and ask Gemini to describe an image. First, I'll upload it. And then we'll submit it to get a description. It's loading. And as you can see, Gemini is telling us exactly what's going on in the picture and what kind of elements it includes. In other words, Gemini is describing the image for us. Let's take a look at some Gemini models starting with Brainstormer. Let's ask it a question. We want to create a web developer studio. Can you help us with this? Now let's wait for the result. Brainstormer is telling us which development paths to take. I typed in the name of the studio and asked it to create a logo. It's now telling me what the logo should include. So, let's ask it to create a prompt. Then we'll take this prompt and use it to generate the logo. We can do that using Gem Manager. So we'll ask it to do this in a new chat. We wait for the result and here we see a creative logo. We can also refine it with Gemini's help and download it, which we'll do. Let's move on to the next model called Career Guide. Now let's continue with our story. I'll ask it to suggest a career path for a team leader and a path for the team. It gives us a comprehensive overview of what the paths should look like. What's interesting is that you can adjust the text size, simplify it or make it more casual. In other words, you can customize the generation settings. Guys, let me take a little break to ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free, but helps me make even more fun tutorials for you. Thanks. Now let's look at the last feature, which is more technical, the coding partner. It's a gembot that can, for example, review code, help update a website, build a small app, and even write Python code. Let's ask it to help with something more complex. For instance, building an e-commerce project using the Django framework. This task is probably beyond what Gemini can handle. 
but right now it's suggesting the steps we need to take. What it generated fits into the settings file for Python, including everything related to the admin panel, user accounts, sessions, messages. Everything can be organized within one settings file for a Django project. Then using Gemini, we can create the rest of the files, like urls.py, which will contain the paths. It's already written out the path to the admin panel for us. The other paths can also be generated. You can generate other paths with its help too. It can also review code, which is an interesting little feature to assist programmers. Learning Coach is a test feature. According to the developers, it's designed to let us upload our learning materials to Gemini, which will then assist us in studying. Now, for example, we can just ask it to explain what binary numbers are. It has a complete math database and can provide detailed explanations. We can also ask it to simplify the text for example, in a way that would be suitable for a teacher, with a clear outline, and so on. The same goes for the writing editor. It can help us check grammar and things like that. We can also ask it to generate text for us. Google's Gemini also has several more test features that are quite impressive. For example, there's image effects. Let's ask it to generate something we created earlier, like a futuristic car. Now, let's wait for the result. Here, we can see the cars it generates. There's also an added image feature. Here, we can paint over certain elements to create a mask. Let's try changing the bridge and wait for the result. And here, we see how Gemini replaced the bridge for us. It offers different options for the replacement. And here are some creative variations. Next, we have a music effects feature, which allows you to generate music. Let's give it a prompt. We'll ask it to generate music suitable for YouTube shorts. It highlights the words and starts generating. Let's wait for it. You can also use Trifex DJ, where you can adjust various settings.
it's a pretty useful and powerful feature. Finally, there's video effects. This feature isn't yet available in Gemini, but you can join the waitlist. So we expect video generation to be available soon. Final thoughts. All right, my friends, let's wrap this up with some final thoughts. At the end of the day, Gemini is all about giving you options. If you're someone who likes experimenting with AI or just needs a little extra help with creative or technical tasks, it's definitely worth checking out, especially with that free trial to get a feel for it. So what do you guys think? If you're excited to try it out or if you have already used it and have some thoughts to share, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your experiences. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, until next time.